Let's talk about Hard Knocks, the John Gruden episode. John Gruden leads the league in being pumped. The Frank Caliendo, John Gruden episode. Glenn on. Love you, man. <laughs> John Gruden, University of Dayton. I do this for free. <laughs> Knock on wood if you're with me. This was the episode we wanted where it was just so much Gruden mm -hmm. and I fucking love him. He's, I, he's I'm switching. I'm switching. We make fun of John Gruden. We make fun of the Raiders. The whole $100 million contract. I have switched i want john gruden to succeed because we need him in our lives for as long as possible him just swear just throwing in swear words that made no sense what would he say to glennon fucking neck man. that was a great shit drive that was a great shit yeah. drive man i i can't believe that john gruden went how many years on monday night football without dropping an f-bomb yeah like considering how often he does it in hard knocks just in his regular vernacular they don't even make he, sense he don't, just nope just put fuck in there and it becomes a football guy say great shit drive glennon man um, so yeah, it was it was the Gruden episode. It's great, like every every single play, no matter what, he acts like he has an orgasm. Yeah, you know how we talk about Nick Saban never coming. He never allows himself to nut unless he wins the national championship. Then he gets one, and then it's back to recruiting. Yes, John Gruden is the exact opposite. He's like Nick Saban, like if he did tantric play call when he does that thing where he's got a little belly now, and he like went belly to belly with Antonio Brown, and you're just like, are they about? Are they about to fuck? Like he's like, yeah, we'd love to have you out here, man. And like, just like, kind of, kind of, kind of, almost like foreplay with his belly. Uh huh. And it was just, it was the tension just was rising in the room. And that's John Gruden. That's, and how, that's how football coaches get close to their players. You ever see the movie Coneheads, where, yeah. where they had intercourse by rubbing heads? Yes. That's what a football guy does. He just rubs his belly on you, and that's how he lets you know that he loves you. The other key to John Gruden being a football guy, when he had to talk to Drew Rosenhaus, he looked like he wanted to be anywhere else on the planet. Doesn't have He's any like, time. Fuck there. this yes. guy. I don't want to be here. I don't want to hear about Antonio Brown's helmet. I am officially, as well, so sick of Antonio Brown's helmet. Uh, yeah, sick of the helmet, but in love with the jumpsuit. Yeah, in love with the jumpsuit, in love with the booming on his pads, but the helmet gate, holy shit, I am now on, on Mike Mayock's side. Just just decided, dude. I'm, I'm sick of talking about it. Like, the whole episode, he was with the team, and then right at the end, he's like, oh yeah, he's not here. It's so stupid at this point. I'm sick of it. Just either find a helmet, don't play with a helmet. I don't care. We might riot if he continues to do the helmet stuff. I next absolutely week. How about agree. That? We riot if he continues the helmet yeah. stuff. Yeah. It is kind of annoying because it's like one of those things where you look out and Mayock said it. There are 89 other guys out there that are playing. It's just the dumbest story at this point. Yeah. I thought it was a fun story when it happened. When that first uh, Mike Silver had that first tweet thread, you're like, this is ridiculous. And you were hoping maybe it would be like a two, three day story that would get us a little bit closer to football. We're on, what, week two now? Week three of this? Mm -hmm. It's exhausting, and I'm sick of it. it is. Do you think that uh, when Frank Caliendo was doing his impression of, of Gruden in front of the team, Mark Davis thought that he was doing an impression of him? Yes, definitely. I think so. He's, He's like, like, yeah, oh, th this guy's awesome. I, I do be sounding like that sometimes. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, this is good job, bro. Try to dap him up. <laughs> yeah. And Frank's like, perfect. what are you doing, That's perfect. Um, other notes, we had uh, Luke Wilson, our guy Luke Wilson, one of the best uh, – all all time most random but best recurring guest when he told the story about the Seattle Super Bowl and the locker room after his review of the Golden Gate Bridge, pretty cool fucking bridge. Yeah, even though he's seen bridges before. Yep. This is not his first bridge, no. but even he's got to take his hat off. Well, that's why he was like, I yeah. grew up in a town with a bridge, so I didn't think I'd be excited <laughs> to see another bridge, yeah, but... but that's that goes like spits in the face of the old saying when you see one one bridge you've seen them all yeah -uh. that's not a true uh -uh. saying anymore golden, golden gate, gate bridge it hits different pretty sure. cool fucking bridge it was yeah he's uh he's kombucha rob gronkowski yes he's yeah. mdma gronk that that hair too is so good i know it's so good it and uh we also had our hard knocks player that everyone's going to draft late in their fantasy league because we get sold on it or he might just get cut and everyone has a tearjerker uh, it's the Devin Kajusti Award, so mm -hmm. it is. Uh, what was the guy's name? Waller. I already forgot. Waller. 
Darren Waller? Yeah, no. you sound pretty attached Darren Waller. to him. Darren Waller. Yeah. No, no, no I, I wrote a note down. Well, he, he, yeah, he's had, him. he's had like a bunch of substance abu- abuse issues in the past. <laughs> so Yeah, I, I slipped in my Luke, Luke Wilson, Wilson real quick. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's they probably not a great choice of words for the announcer. Be like, everyone's real high on Darren Waller yeah, this year. Well, Bill yeah. Walton was announcing, so. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise, pretty entertaining episode. Yeah, it was I pretty, thought it was pretty it good. It was pretty good. Uh, it was good to hear Uncle Brent's voice, too. Always when good. When they were playing against the Cardinals, he was probably up there in the booth. Uh, scoping out Cliff Kingsbury's wife. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go three point five balls. Okay, that's a strong balls rating. Yeah, yeah, that's actually 3. not 5. a strong. Balls you don't think rating. that's a ball, good balls that, rating out of five? That's seven out of ten balls. It's like a. C- oh, minus. now you're doing now you're doing oh, like well, I, multiplication. No, it's three point five out of five five balls. But Hank's right with the math. I get it, but I don't like it's that. A, it's a five ball scale. Yeah. What I, do you give balls wise? I was cracking up the whole time. I'd probably give it like a 4.4 balls. Whoa. 4.4 balls. Okay. That was one of the most entertaining episodes of Hard Knocks. Flat I think four I've seen. balls for me. Four balls. Four All right. Balls. So then we average out to about a little a sh- uh, tick under four balls. Mm-hmm. There we go. And yeah, an epididymis under four balls. 3.99 balls. That sounds That's about pretty right. strong. Yeah. yeah. 